from True Seeker. And uh, the other day I did a video and I was talking to you about how they uh, manipulate these pictures. Uh, I don't think I can get the link, but <clears throat> I'll give you the uh, link in the description as always. But uh, I mean, there's nothing real crazy to see here, except I want to show you what I mean about their uh, technique of just blacking things out. Like I said, they used to. To me, it looks like uh, some of the older stuff. They used to take like a black sharpie marker, just black out what they didn't want, and then rescan it. And uh, I'm going to show you how they do that. When I say they cover something up with black, this is what I mean. Oh, oh what do we got here, NASA? Whoa! There's numerous photos that they do this in numerous. I can't even count them. You know, look at some of this stuff. But this is what's going on. This is what NASA's doing. And then they release this stuff to the public. This uh, is from the Cassini probe. This is Titan. Uh, it's, I, I don't even believe that this is here, first of all, okay? There's definitely something behind it that's emitting all types of light. Now, if you can tell me how this is not... Look, they just covered part of it. I don't even believe that this is... I believe that this is just cut in. It's too much of a perfect circle. They used like a circle tool and just cut this out and pasted it as far as I'm concerned, but this nonsense, this is what I mean when I tell you that NASA's blacking something out, this is what I'm talking about, for all the people that don't believe me, oh NASA can never do that, no they wouldn't do that to the public, this is what I mean, okay, it's as clear as day, it's a hard fact, the public has been lied to, I, I can't even tell you how far back with the space uh, as far as our space exploration goes we've been fed nothing but lies and I just wanted to there was a couple other little things I just wanted to point out in uh, Sol 590 which I'll also put the link just a couple of strange anomalies look at this thing coming up look at this look at it. it's just this is all NASA's fake blurring up there. All oh, they're fake. It's all fake. See how they blackened this out here? What's behind it? This here was a total black smudge. Why? Because there's a couple of things back there. I just can't get them to come out. But look at this thing. They blurred it and twisted it. You can see there's a couple of rocks here, and they come almost into like a perfect, like a quarter of a circle. <coughs> Excuse me. There's another statue. These last couple of souls are very, very strange. Last uh, last night, I found that strange piece of machinery. I mean, it's as clear as day. To me, that's that's the holy grail to me. That's one of my best finds to date. See this? But, yeah, just you know, I want to show you just a couple. I mean, look at this stuff. They blurred. They made such a mess of this picture. So this is where they put all that black in. This was all black here, but I got a little bit of it to come out. It's just all very weird. There's actually a video from NASA stating, oh yeah, with this, with this rover, we could see a small table from space. So, <laughs> you let me know where that... Uh, where that high definition quality is NASA because we sure as hell ain't seeing it.
The only time we see high definition pictures is when the rover takes pictures of itself. So, there goes billions of dollars. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love NASA. Biggest, biggest group of a-holes I've ever seen in my life. Alright guys, it's Truth Seeker, I'm out.